Hey everybody, so I am finished with her. I've decided that I just wanted to use the old gold. I did not want to incorporate any of the white. Um, I just felt like it wasn't saying what I needed it to say. And just having this streaked appearance of gold highlights with no real rhyme or reason just works for me. So I'm turning it around just so you can see it. And what I'm going to be doing now is applying Mod Podge. I just spotted an area that still has some of the white before, so I'm going to paint over that really quickly and just um, get that out of the way. And when I start applying the Mod Podge, I'll have to remember not to go over this area because it's still going to be, you know, wet from the paint. So I'm just taking out a little bit of old gold to streak through, just a dot, just enough to get me through this application. And I'm putting it right on the same paintbrush because it doesn't need to be stark contrast. I just want it streaked through. So this side, on the um, right-hand side, I'm not going to Mod Podge that panel. That will have to wait for last so that it can dry. And you're just going to be watching me add the Mod Podge to this sculpture. Everything except for the locks up here because that is the glazed look and it was untouched. Hang on one second while I adjust the camera just a little. All right. So that was already glazed and it is very high gloss like the rest of this piece was, but I did not like that high level of gloss throughout because it looked like she was behind a case of molded glass, like she had on a glass, a mask made of glass, and you know, that wasn't attractive. It, it very much detracted from the piece. Now, I went ahead to Amazon and I bought, ordered some Mod Podge that is matte. Now, even though this is gloss Mod Podge, it's not the ridiculously glossed out look that the, um, I just dipped my paintbrush into the wrong thing. God dang it. Anyway, so even though it is a gloss, it does not look like a sheet of glass when it's finished drying. It's more so a light gloss sheen, and that's more than okay with me because it won't reflect as harshly in the light, but it will just give it a look like it's, you know, a little bit newer, even though the look of the old gold running through it is supposed to make it look a little more distressed. But I have a tendency to get, um, I don't know, really anxious. I want to get into things. I want to get it done, and then I want to move on to the next thing. So I'm going to go ahead and paint over it with the Mod Podge. That is gloss. But going forward, I think I'll be using the match for everything else. So all I did was apply Mod Podge already to the base on all four corners. So that's why you won't see me touching that. So I'm just dipping directly into the um, into the container because that's what I want to do. I don't feel like pouring any out. I just want to use as much as I need and not a bit more than that because there's no need for excess. So I'm just going to paint over her with the Mod Podge and probably only going to give it one coat. Now when you read the directions for Mod Podge, it says to let it dry for a couple of weeks or let it dry and cure for a couple of weeks so that it is all the way set and that's exactly what i'm going to do when i'm finished with this application um, i'm going to let it sit on its own for about an hour so that it's dry to the touch and not sticky and then what i'm going to do is just tint it with a plastic bag and that's just to keep dust from settling onto it while it's drying and i'm only going to apply one coat of this mod podge because again it's gloss and i don't want the shine to become overdone. So my focus right now is just trying to make sure the Mod Podge is not pulled up in areas that it's as evenly applied as I can get it. And that's really all that's needed for this right now. And like I said, it's going to dry pretty much to a very light gloss sheen. Nothing like what she was. And I'll make sure to put a picture up of how the glazing came out so that you can see what I mean when I say the, the level of gloss was just it was comical. It was just unbearable for me. So now I'm working with matte glazes, and I've um, the first one that I applied a matte glaze to is actually being fired today. And I'll get a text from the studio when it's ready, and you'll get to see how that worked out. And if it doesn't work out, then I'm going to have to do some more research on different techniques for finishing a sculpture that will allow it to still have an organic earthen look, even in some instances, any application of a material that's going to give it a sheen but not a gloss will work for me. But I think for her, this is going to work out just fine. It's not going to be too aggressive, but it will allow the paint to be protected. So remember, I'm avoiding this right side because I touched up the bottom area. So that's why I'm starting at the front here. And applying this Mod Podge at this point, because it has been glazed, um, is just to protect the paint that has been applied. So remember, I used Dixie Belle Slick Stick, 
painted over the entire sculpture with that, and then went in with several coats of black paint, and then eventually streaked in the old gold. Now, this, the, this final product was a result of painting over the streaks of old gold and white that I had done earlier, which was way too dramatic and high contrast for me, and I just didn't like the way it came out. So I changed that by repainting another coat of black. So there are several coats onto this, and I just don't want it to be where over time it chips away or anything like that. So I prefer to put this um, coating of Mod Podge onto it to protect it. Now remember, the right side is where I applied. I can still see where it started, where I started the application of the Mod Podge, Mod Podge and it's shiny, so I'm just not going to go down as far as that. Just doing the top, I just have to remember to come back to it and apply it to that area that I avoided because of the new application. So this is going to give it a sealing coat, S-E-A-L-I-N-G, not, you know, sealing of a home, and enable you to just wipe it down when dust starts to accumulate on it. And you can see it's shiny, you know, but again, it's not the same level of annoying aggressive gloss that it was. And you'll see the picture so that you know exactly what I'm talking about. And as it stands right now, I'm going to have to wait to show you that picture after this has dried so you can see exactly what I mean. Using the towel to wipe up some excess and to fan out some areas that have been streaked with the application. That's all I want to apply to her. So this is while she's wet. And after she dries, I'll go ahead and take a new picture of her. I'm going to take a couple of photographs while she's wet and then a couple of photographs after she's dried and I feel comfortable moving her off of this platform so that you guys can see the differences. So this is another part of the journey, finishing a piece up completely and successfully, and I'm looking forward to all that's to come. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Peace.